I don't even know what the hell that is over here. What is this? A university? What? Yo. All right. I'm excited that we came to Leningrad, but geez Louise. This is a bona fide map right here, ladies and gentlemen. What is going on, everybody? Welcome back to Day R Survival. I'm your host, the Birdman known as Falcon. I got a really big episode for us planned here today. I did a lot of stuff off camera. Um, you saw last episode, we had a bunch of issues over here with those um, wild radioactive animals, and I told myself, you know what, I need to level up. So I went off and I decided to hunt a couple of rats. And after I hunted a couple of rats, I told myself, how about we try one of these wolves or one of these lynx? I went over here and I trained and I fought and I killed myself a couple of wolves and lynx. Check this out over here. We have, I, I made a drying rack, I'm drying some meat now. We're about to get off of the entire canned food thing and we're gonna go into dry meats because I have a ton of it over here. So let's go ahead and use that. Get that dry meat right there, we got eight of them from that one. And over here we got some more dry meat. Now you're probably noticing this, I'm at 140 load. So you're like, wow, that's a lot, Falcon. It is a lot, but I got another surprise for us here today as well. Number one, let me get this dried meat, check this out. Never expires, it weighs 1.7 for 17. It clears up 20 hunger. It makes me a little bit thirsty, but with no expiration date, I don't have to worry about it. It's always ready to go. So we'll pick that up. We also have to disassemble these racks. I'll get my, my ropes back at the very least. I don't really care about the wood. Giggity giggity, but I do care about that rope. Let me get that back. Now, 141 load. How are you going to travel? Oh, I know how I'm going to travel. Because off camera, mechanics went up to a level 4. I made myself a couple of Molotov cocktails with the soap that I've been storing up forever. Really good to kill um those um wolves, by the way. Very, very good. But here it is. Of course, now we need a lot of fuel. I already went out to collect fuel back in the, the town where I ran myself out of. So let's see how this works now. 257 load. Oh, God, we can't do much, but obviously we have to equip our dude first, wherever it might be at. Yo, where are you at? There you are. Use it. We're at 101 now, which is okay, because I have a lot of stuff on me I need to dump off. Oh, I also got some of this, um, raw fat back from killing those, um, monsters. Well, not the monsters, but the wolves and stuff. And these guys are so good. You know why? Because they also give you food that expires, like, really, really far in. Oh, you're expired. Let me drop you. Um, it gives, I, I can make smoke fat back from that. And each one of these gives you a chance to make two or four smoke fat backs in one go. And these last for 23 days. And they cure up to 30 and 10. Really good stuff as well. So yeah, hunting was probably the best decision I've made thus far. And I'm excited I did it. Let's finally hit the road here. So, um, Viborg has been explored. I'm not making the raft to go over here. That's pointless because there's something of value there. We're going to start heading over to Leningrad today. And I believe we should be able to make it there. Have I, have I gone to Inta? I'm not really sure if I've gone there. But it don't matter. Let's travel. Oh, I actually hear the, the motorized card now, too. <laughs> I like that. Okay, hold on. So, we gotta be smart about this. I mean, I don't want to necessarily have to collect fuel every single moment. So, let's come over here to the location itself. You animals better not attack me right now. I'm not ready for that. So, we will drop everything here. Along with you. Remove. And drop. 34 is very ideal. We'll do the rest of it by foot so we can serve fuel that way. By the way... I don't need you at the moment, so you can stay behind too. All we need is like the bullets, the gun, the armor, and obviously the very good stuff, which is um, you, you, let's go. I don't have any vodka, but I feel like we find vodka in every single city anyway. I mean, we're in Russia. I don't think there's going to be a, a shortage of vodka, especially at a restaurant. Oh, the wine. The wine's really good. You guys told me if I'm going to be taking care of the, I mean, I've been doing this, but you guys made it a point to tell me. If you're going to be curing the radiation by drinking, make sure you use the vodka because the wine has a different... Well, not different, but it has like more upside to the vodka because I believe the wine doesn't make you sleepy if I'm right. I could be wrong about this. Okay, now the radioactive wolf, unlike the regular wolves that you find in the forest, are a lot stronger because... With this guy, if I fought him in the forest with a gun, I have like a 60 or 75% chance to win. This is only 35. I'm escaping that one. I could throw the Molotov at him, which is another possibility too, but... Let's not even risk it. Oh, pasta! I haven't seen you in a while. Not that it matters, because I'm off of the pasta now. No more pasta for the bird. 
Now, the last thing we have to do, I mean, we're still going to continue leveling up, obviously, but the last thing that I think we definitely need to be a very happy camper for a while is going to be sewing up to a level 4 or whatever to get the rubber equipment. That's the last thing I feel that I need at the moment. And then otherwise, we have dried food, we have the motorized card, so things are looking pretty good, but that's the last thing we do need. So the wine, yeah, the wine doesn't make me sleepy. Unlike the vodka, so that's why it's a lot better to use the vodka and just conserve the wine for serious things. I need salt, and I'm gonna just have you straight up here, because why not? That's about it. Let's continue. So, that's that. Mm, we have a lot of locations over here to check out. I have a school. Man, this, this place is loaded with a bunch of cool stuff. A lot of, like, interesting locations. Entrance. Mm, I mean, I'll search just for the salt. The one thing I'm noticing now, though, is that... That. I'm noticing that we are actively getting hunted now. Let me handle a save here really quickly. But I'm noticing now that, as opposed to before, when I was, like, in the earlier towns, I never really got attacked when I was searching. Now it happens really often. These radioactive animals are on the hunt. And speaking of which, you know how I mentioned that we could always find vodka? What ha what's happening with the vodka? <laughs> Where is it at? I'm going to probably have to use that red wine pretty soon. Which is unfortunate. Hmm. Oh well. Uh, let me get this. Oh, we, we did all this for only six salt. I came in here for the salt, dude. Let me come back home really quickly. Or not home, but my base momentarily. Pop some vodka in me because I'm not crazy about this radioacti radio radio radioactive man. Watch out, radioactive man. We're fine now. I know I don't have to do this, but I'm always paranoid. Extinguish, please. No, no, don't kindle. Extinguish. There it is. Okay. Back um, over here we go. So now we're good. We got water, we got some food, we're rested now. Got vodka just in case, because apparently Inta is the one town in Russia that doesn't have any vodka. We already checked that one out, so let's come up through here. Mm, is this worth my time? Not really. I mean, soap's really good for the Molotov, sure, but other than that, not too crazy. I do want to check out that... <laughs> I was about to call it a graveyard. <laughs> that construction site. It's a graveyard in my world. I'm walking by, I'm seeing something get constructed. Oh, it's a graveyard over there. That place where you put all the bodies to rest. My oh my. Did I equip? I didn't equip that mask, did I? No, because I'm a ding-dong. That's the reason why that's going up pretty fast. So wear that one, there you go. That'll help us out a little bit here. I know I forgot to do something. I always forget something, man. It's just one of those things. Think I'm on top of it, and nope. Something I always forgot. Yeah, I'm loving this game a lot, let me tell you. I hope you guys are enjoying watching it. I'm, I'm loving, like, the interaction, because I get to, like, learn from reading your tips as well. And when I figure things out myself, I feel really bright, so I'm really enjoying this. And I hope you guys are as well. I mean, so far, it seems like you are. On occasion, I get, like, a couple of comments on the videos that are like, why is he playing this game? It's so boring. And I'm just like thinking like, man, oh, it's so boring. You're just on the map looking for stuff. I'm like, okay. I mean, it's a, literally a game where you're struggling to survive. You know, all those survival games that people play all the time? And they're, they're all like the same thing. Run out there and like, you know, cut down trees, mine a rock. And that's your survival game. Craft your base. Every single game is kind of the same. This is like a bit more different because it's actually very realistic. Like everything about this, like, you know, you have some coffee. Takes away your 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 sleepiness. Um, you salt some food and lasts longer. You run into radioactive rats or animals, you gotta run because they're radioactive stuff and they're gonna kill you. So I just really enjoy this game a lot. But you know, the thing is that like I don't even care if like not everybody enjoys like the game that I like. You know, I feel like a lot of people, especially on YouTube, for some reason, if we want to get that library for the easy points, we should also. Um, let me have some vodka here really quickly. I can't flee. Uh-oh. He lacerated my leg. Oh no, your equipment protected you against laceration. Oh, thank God. Oh. I, I almost got super salty right now. Oh, thank God. What what protected me? Was it the vest? It was probably the vest. I mean, maybe? I don't know. The vest does have a 5% laceration protection. 
Was that alone? I mean, my also my pants. Dude, I'm so lucky that I didn't lacerate me. I am bleeding now, which is a big problem. I don't have any bandages on me. Okay, so from now on, when we're going through villages, I need to actually take bandages because the attacks are getting a lot more aggressive. Oh, boy. Those Molotov cocktails, though, very, very useful in situations like that. Now, the carcass, I could butcher it down. The problem with this meat is that it gives you, like, tainted meat because it's radioactive wolf, right? And it's really annoying, so you know what? I'm just going to leave them there. That should probably give me some points for explosives, though, which is fine, so... At least I'll be doing better with that. Um, bleeding, I know we have to take care of that soon. Um, let me try to find this book really quick, let's see if we can get out of here. Should probably save, too. <laughs> let me handle a save in case something goes really terribly wrong. I don't want to suddenly die here. But going back to what I was mentioning, like... On YouTube, for some people, like, for some reason, like, people are very, like... I guess, like, entitled, you know? Like, just because you don't like something, doesn't mean that other people don't like something, right? And, like, the knock I get on this game on Day R is that it's very boring, it's dumb, stop playing it. And I'm thinking to myself, like, when I read stuff like that, I mean, I don't really pay too much attention to it, for one. But I find it really amusing that there's melee weapons. Eh, I don't really focus too much on melee, but whatever. Um, but I'm not sure if it's maybe a maturity thing, too. Like, maybe it could just be, like, younger viewers that have that mentality. But I'm not saying that all young viewers have the mentality where it's like, oh, I don't like it, so it's dumb. But there is a big majority who, just because they don't like something, they think it's dumb or it's terrible or it's boring or whatever. But it's just crazy because, you know, what's that expression you hear all the time? Different strokes for different folks. You know, not just because you don't like something does not make it bad. I mean, there's a lot of things that I don't like. Like, I don't really like competitive games, for instance, right? So I'm not like, a big fan of... I have nothing against them, but I just don't personally like to play stuff like... Pub, PUBG or whatever the hell it's called, Player Unknown, Fortnite. I just have no interest in that. But it doesn't mean that it's a bad game, you know? Just because I don't like it. I just don't like it, but other people do it. It's a, a fairly, they seem like fairly well-made games, but... Not a lot of people have that mentality where it's just because I don't like it. Just because I don't like it, it means that it's bad. And it's like, it's not how things work, you know? Just because you don't like something does not make it bad whatsoever, but... I just read a lot of comments about that, like when I'm playing they are and people show up in the videos and go like oh this is boring go go play last day on nerd oh it's a lot more fun it's like oh yeah that's fun <laughs> the game where you freaking grind every single thing everything in that game is grinding that's yeah, a lot more fun than this huh yeah newsflash you're you're practically doing the same thing in both games just throwing it out there the only difference is over there you see yourself running around shooting zombies for on end periods we're here you know you get to use your imagination imagine that a game where you use your imagination sometimes. It's like reading a book. What's reading? Yeah, I know. Who reads nowadays? Alright, so let me get that fire. I want to get more coffee because I'm, I'm too lazy to like sit down and get some sleep. And it's funny because some people were like making fun of me for that in the videos as well. I'm like, you're too lazy to sleep? That doesn't make any sense. I'm like, yeah, I know. But I mean, I'm too lazy in the game to sit down and get some sleep. You know, because it takes time. And I'm not here for time, I'm here to get progress and hopefully entertain you guys in the process here. So drink that. I'm gonna hold on to that extra coffee, I gotta drink it pretty soon. You know what I could do, just have a, a bit of salted fishy here, I'm not hungry for the salty fish. That's a shame. Well, this needs to come along with me because it'll expire in an hour, so... That coffee goes bad really fast, like a little bit too fast if you ask me. Alright. Well, the bleeding is gone now, I should really, like, um... Bring some bandages just in case, I would say. But, you know, I never learn. Uh, move forward a bit. And I need that coffee... Like, now. Can I have that fish now so I can have my coffee, please? Thank you. Coffee, there you go. Alright. All under control now. So, what were we doing? We are at the school, right? I mean, we checked the book, which was fine. Didn't really give me what I wanted, but... Yeah, I'm not going to check there anymore. I'm going to go to the construction site. Library. Yeah, we got this ready. Cool. So I think we're done here. Let's go over to the good stuff. Now, what's cool about this, I off camera, the way I leveled myself up to mechanics to get the motorized card. I was using the blanks that I've been getting from the... From the construction site, which is this over here. To turn them into primers, and then I was using the primers to make bullets. So I have a lot of bullets for my... Makarov gun. Now, you guys know I have a Makarov gun because I'm playing the premium version of the game. 
So you start off with caps and a Makarov gun and whatever. I'm not using it yet though, because like I want to actually make my own. I mean, if things get fishy down the line, and I have to use it, I will. But I'm trying my best not to use it at the moment. Um, yeah, I guess I'll bring you along too. So I'm trying my best not to use it at the moment. Bring this too. But if I have to, I will. But I'm trying to just make get myself to the point where I could build my own. So, that being said, because that's my idea, I'm still already like starting to make bullets for the Makarov. So whenever we do finally use one, we have ammunition for it. So these blanks over here are very good for that. And it's very good because if you make bullets, you build up your mechanics. That's how I got my motorized card so quickly off camera. Because I was just kind of like, oh, sweet. That gives you a ton of mechanic experience. It's perfect. Wire. That's about it. So, this is done here. Move on down here. Supplies. Hmm. I just want the potassium, because I need that for the gunpowder recipe. The cement weighs way too much. Radiation's getting pretty high up again, too. Hmm. Where's my vodka at? Down to five usages, huh? Yeah, this, this resistor that we got for the radiation, not really as good... Oh boy. Luckily, we were able to escape from that. Dude, this, these attacks are just becoming so frequent, it's really annoying. Especially when you get, don't get the option to escape either. It's kind of like, uh-oh. Do I have another Molotov? No, that was the last one, right? No, I have one more. Oh boy. I'm worried about being here. Okay, we're done here. Let's check out the... cabin area. I'm gonna skip that. With this very active animals around, I'm gonna just skip it. I'm, I'm, I'm slightly worried about it. Oh, you know what, too? I should be using... I should make a torch only to scare off the wolves. I think, like, if you see this over here... Repels, fire, torch in a house. If we carry torches in cities, it'll keep these guys, hopefully, from attacking me. So, yeah... I mean, we have a flashlight which helps me, which helps me to search. Uh, I don't really want anything here, I don't think. So the, 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 the flashlight helps me like light stuff up and search faster, but the torch, the other side to use it is to, it repels animal attacks, so we should probably really consider making that going into cities now. And it's not a bad idea, because normally we always stop by the forest to dump stuff off, so in the process, just quickly make a torch, jump into the city, and that way I'm not really worried about being attacked by these animals constantly, which is really, really annoying. I'm going to take you with me, I'm going to open you in the camp, because um, obviously the animal activity here is a bit too crazy. I think I'm gonna skip this house over here. Just because I'm really worried about these animals. This is like a thing like a canteen, maybe? Pharmacy. Oh, good, 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 yeah. Pick that all up. I'm getting hungry, thirsty. Mm, let's see here. Food. Have that. Some water. The only downside of the dried stuff is that it makes you a bit thirsty, but it's fine. And that'll do. That'll be it for now. Mm, vodka. Sure, why not? Alright. Oh, where are you going? Stop. Don't move. Alright, hurry up. Last one, I want to get out of here. I really want to start doing the torch thing because I'm worried about these animals, so... Boom. Oh, we got the, the hemophobic one. Or <laughs> whatever the word is. It gives you a lot of, um, blood curing, so that's really good. Alright, we're done here, right? Let me get on out of here. This place worries me quite a bit. Okay. So. Leningrad. How are we on time? Give me a second here, guys. Alright, yeah, we're running a little bit late. As in, like, I should start wrapping this up. But, I promise Leningrad, we're getting to Leningrad right now before we wrap it up. So at least we're gonna peek in there and see what's up. So, before we do, Lee, let me get some of the salted fish in me. Um, you expire in 18 days, you got 19 days, so we'll do... Fishies and water. And we're at 80 load, which is great. We picked up a lot of stuff in that town, and we're only at 80. Really good. Water, it's low, but, you know, I'll make some pretty soon. We have to get rid of these two guys soon. But I'll worry about them after we start getting rid of the the fresh food, I guess. Alright, so... Sleepy is the only concern here. Make some coffee, you're thinking? Well, I'm not thirsty. Ugh, I, I, just, I just don't want to sleep! Do I even have a hut here? I don't think I even have a hut, do I? No, there's no hut here. But I don't want to pass on the, the road. Alright, let me get really... Let me get some sleep here really quickly. All right, we're ready to go. So, I'm back on the road. Ooh, I love that sound so much. 
I know that before we get to Leningrad, technically speaking, we should probably hit up... Don't stop. Zelenogorsk, one of the, the Gorsk brothers, and there's also Sertolovo. So we haven't gone to those just yet, but we could do that later. Right now, I definitely want us to at least take a look into Leningrad. So... It's a big city. It's one of the bigger parts of the game. So maybe a quest triggers, I don't even know. Alright. Here we go, boys. Leningrad, finally. I said, Leningrad, finally. Oh, I got a zoo. Oh, goodness, God almighty. Okay, welcome to the next week of your life. Dude, that's huge. I mean, I know Leningrad probably is a big place, historically speaking, but in terms of a game... <laughs> Yo, that... Look at all this. I don't even know what the hell that is over here. What is this? A university. What? Yo. Alright. I'm excited that we came to Leningrad, but geez Louise. <laughs> This is a bona fide map right here, ladies and gentlemen. Okay, well. We have a lot of work ahead of us here next episode, it does seem. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I'm gonna go ahead and make a camp and get us ready for this because this is gonna take a while. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I will catch you next time.